Hey folks, Wallace Chubble here, president of the Florida Real Estate Investor Association, bringing you another edition of The Fan, the Florida Reaction News, and news we have. What's going on this week? Well, to announce, we, we thought we'd be sending you guys an email and bothering you for our Pepsi refresh grant, but I got an email first thing this morning and said, we're not eligible. I called, got some lame excuse, but that's okay. We're going to move forward anyway, so we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to do what we've got to do to make things happen, so... Hey, things happen in life, but you can't let them set you back. So I had my pity party this morning, got over it, and now back to work. Anyway, uh, let's see what's going on in the news here. The Daily Business Review has got a quite a bit of things here to report. A local man sued by two banks for foreclosure. Right. Now, this is the nightmare scenario that's starting to creep in. Okay. Now, what's this all about? Well, um, Bank of America, who bought the note from America's Brokers Conduit, Filed for foreclosure shortly after they bought the note, right? Well, then another bank, Penny Mac, is suing for foreclosure as well. So I was like, whoa, what's all this about? And the funny thing is, the guy never even applied for a loan. You know, it's, uh, his, it looks like his grandson forged his name on a warranty deed, and so he went out and took the loan, okay? So now, but the thing is, neither of the banks can prove, uh, uh, have proof of the original paperwork. So all they have are electronic copies. So now it's like, Okay, where's this going to go? So this guy, you know, he thought he was having to move out. Um, so his attorneys are fighting it, so we'll see how this comes. Definitely want to see what, how this turns out uh, as uh, this is going to be something that I believe is going to continue to happen throughout uh, the next few years. So uh, interesting going on. Hey, good news. Commercial real estate is booming. That's right. There's been uh, more than $1.1 billion worth of commercial real estate closed in the first six months of this year. Okay, That's almost more than they had um, towards the end of last year. You know, they, they were just more than double. So it was just tough things going on. Uh, but these, these are what's, this is what's selling. Okay, uh, Here's a quote. Um, the market is being split dramatically. Really empty properties are being dumped for deep discounted prices, and really good properties that have a high rate of occupancy are commanding huge prices. And yeah, we've seen some of these in the, in the reports lately. So some amazing deals, but they've got the good numbers. So, um, And what they're also saying is that you're not seeing a middle market. So all those properties in between, those aren't moving. So it's the ones that are either vacant, distressed, or are, are absolutely performing really well that are moving. So good news. Uh, that's, that's good news for the real estate sector here on the commercial side. Uh, Trump, again, in hot water. We reported last week he was dealing with a property in, um, I believe, in, in Central America, Costa Rica, or something like that. Now he's, uh, he's being accused, him and his developers, of false advertising, deceptive and unfair trade practices, and breach of contract. Uh, for not completing the construction of Trump International Hotel and Tower, okay, um, he Trump tried to get his name out of it. He says, "Oh, I only license my name. Yeah, you know, I have nothing to do with this." Uh, but then the defense attorney said, "You know what? Here's a brochure uh, with your face on it, and you welcome them to your new project with your signature." So, hey, he's in there. He's on the hook for the six million that these guys are suing for. All right. Yeah, the hotel has not been finished and is right now in foreclosure for 139 million bucks. So uh, I guess you got to be careful who you can get in bed with, huh? Even to lend out your name. All right. Palm Beach Post. Fannie and Freddie will not be foreclosing for the holidays. That's right. They have announced. Fannie announced that no foreclosures from uh, December 20th through January 3rd, and Freddie Mac should be doing the same thing here in the next few days. But City Mortgage is playing the part of the Grinch, and they. Um, have not announced any holiday moratorium, even though last year they did not uh, send any foreclosure notices through this time, but uh, they haven't said anything. So see what happens. And some of the other lenders, we didn't hear anything else about them. I think they're too busy trying to get out of the robo signing. All right. Uh, the city, West Palm Beach here, loses $3 million hurricane grant. Now what happened? This was a hurricane grant after, after 2004 to fix up 60 houses, uh, lower income houses, okay? They started fixing 20 of them, and they took out 750000 out of their own pocket, all right? But what happened was they didn't do the work in time and stay, meet the state's requirements, so the state pulled the money, three, a little over $3 million bucks, okay? So needless people got slashed at the city, uh, getting uh, put on the hook there for, for failing to uh, complete the paperwork and keep up to the par. It's been six years, and they've only done 20 properties. What's been going on? 
You know, somebody needs to get on off their butt and get some work done. Uh, I tell you. All right. Uh, foreclosure do-overs are trickling in. All right. You've heard, we heard we talked about this that uh, a lot of banks are just they're just redoing the paperwork and resubmitting them as a do-over. Hey, you know, nothing. We didn't mean any harm. We're going to submit these back. And uh, this has a lot of foreclosure defense attorneys up in arms. It's like, whoa, what are you guys doing? This is putting the, the, the courts in an absurd position. Yeah, I mean, here it's uh, the requiring judges to bless or at least overlook the fraud committed. Okay? They have uh, on, uh, on record, these guys were deposed of stating that, yes, they, they robo-signed about 10,000 documents a month. Okay? So they, that is fraud under Florida law. Okay, so um, so now they're just coming back and say, hey, you know, eh, no big deal. You know, nobody got no hurt, no harm. So they're just going out this. So this is going to be uh, a bone of contention now. So something to look out for there as well. Uh, title is still a big issue. You know, just as we reported earlier with uh, the, the local man being sued by two banks. Um, you know, who's going to who's going to want these these titles? So it's going to be crazy. All right. And deals galore and condos. That's right. Uh, downtown West Palm Beach still has more than 700 units unsold. But Condo Vulture says, you know what? That number is 3,425 condos uh, have remained unsold as of September 30th. These are all that uh, condo conversions or new buildings since 2003. That's a lot of property out there. And guess what? They're going for steals. Let me give you an example here. Uh, an investor recently purchased um, a bunch of them, like 300 of them, um, and stole them. I mean, these prices are unbelievable. 2007 prices went for 440 bucks a square foot. They're now third quarter 2010 prices average 222 dollars a square foot. That's almost a 50 percent uh, decrease in in the pricing. So that's amazing. Yeah, and now we're starting to see buyers heading up here this way. Uh, Miami, and we reported this. In Miami is is slim pickings now for condos uh, under the deals. Uh, a lot of these you know, conglomerates are buying up bulk packages. Well, now they're they're starting to move on up. Fort Lauderdale, uh, their inventory is under three percent, so they're doing pretty good over there. Uh, West Palm Beach, we're at twenty-two percent of inventory. The average is normally ten percent, so we're way above average. But uh, you know, people are coming in and, and they're getting deals. So if you're looking for a steal of a deal in uh, West Palm Beach, now's the time to go get it. All right, and uh, Miami Dolphins, good win against the Oakland Raiders. Wasn't pretty, but hey, uh, Henny looked pretty good. Uh, still limping a little bit. Looks like that knee isn't healed too well. And then Tyler, he got some uh, some playing time, so trying to keep him fresh. Um, so now we're looking forward to uh, play against the uh, the Browns on the fifth at the Doghouse. So we'll see how that works out uh, with our boys uh, getting back in the shape. So. Um, See what's going on. They this is, this is go time. I mean, they can't afford to lose too many more games if they're going to try to get in there. I mean, they're in the hunt. You know, the Jets and um, the Patriots, I think, are nine and two. You know, here we are, six and five. So, got some do cleaning up to do. All right, what's going on at the Florida Real uh, Real Estate Opportunities Webinar every Tuesday with Sharon? I mean, we are getting people from all over the world watching this thing. So you better get on there at twelve fifteen. Uh, p.m. every Tuesday afternoon, all right? Uh, elite members, we have our conference call on Tuesday, December 7th, a very special topic we're talking about this Tuesday. Um, December 11th, Smart Strategies for Successful Wholesaling. This is the partner program on December 12th. I'm sorry, Saturday, December 11th. Okay, remember, the partnership program, as you know, it is coming to an end December 31st, so make sure you get involved before the end of the year if you want to be a part of that reimbursement program. And then on uh, Tuesday, December 14th, is our Christmas party. That's right, Tuesday, December 14th. Make sure you register for that. Um, and then uh, God's Property Webinar is on Thursday, December 16th at 7.30 in the morning. So hook up with us there so we can find out God's Word, how it plays a part in our business. And we're moving. That's right, the Florida Ria is moving. We're picking up our bags and we're leaving uh, the President Country Club as of uh, this year. And in January, we will have a new location. That's January 20th is our first meeting. And uh, we have a fantastic speaker, Frank McKenney. And we are launching a new product that I've been working on with him. And we'll be launching it, premiering it that evening. So you definitely want to come out there. Uh, watch for the more, more information about the move. Um, location is at PGA National. Uh, as long as we get the contract worked out. <clears throat> and then... Um, 
that's where I'll be our new home. And we're excited about the new place. We've got new socials coming up. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming out for 2011 that we are just excited about. So we want you to be a part of it. Uh, I would suggest renewing your memberships now before the first of the year because those prices will change. All right. And that is the news. That is the news. And thanks for tuning in. And, uh, hey, holidays are here. Have a blessed time out there. Be nice to someone out there. And uh, do good. All right. This is Juan Rochelle signing off. God bless.